God bless you. I, I was thinking last night, I was thinking today, of when Moses went up to get the commandments of the Lord, which was the only direction for the church at that hour. The commandments came to them to tell them when they were wrong. That's what the law book is about the law, to tell you when you break the law. Got a book you get when you get your license, and it tells you all of the faults of people, what they'll do if they go this way and that way, whatever. It's a directional book. And God has always had to have a directional book. Because this natural body of yours is constantly bothered by the work of the enemy. Now, I'm not talking about no church you belong to. I think we're doing too much emphasis on belonging to a body of people. I belong to the Lord if ain't nobody else saved. I have my own personal way to the Lord. There ain't nobody who can keep me out of the kingdom. Nobody can't cause me not to go in. Whatever happens, it's on my own. I'm the one doing it wrong. I'm the one making a mistake. But God has so provided in the word of the Lord the things we must do or must not do. Now, you might feel real comfortable doing what you're doing, but that don't make God be pleased with you. So the man of God had to go up from the children of Israel to receive the orders of the Lord, what thou shall not do. Even though the church world has almost abolish the shall not thou shall not commit adultery well they're doing it double time thou shall not bear false witness and I told you if you don't know nothing if you have been a part of nothing you have something you don't know nothing to talk about <laughs> and when you bear up a lie that you heard somebody say then you have broke the commandments of the Lord thou shalt not bear false with and it's false as long as you're not talking about it. and if it's somebody you've done something with you have you talk about yourself oh yes you can't talk if I was calling you baby you couldn't talk about me calling you without me you've been involved the same way that's right and if it's something to tell, you tell it on both of us. So you ain't you ain't free. And I go on with the thou shall not. Yes. Thou shalt not bow down to any graven image. That's right. Anything lacking in the earth and nothing like that. I don't care how they form it. You won't have a God. Amen. If you have a statue, you won't have a God. Amen. You you got one that can't talk. That's right. Got one that can't even hear you. Amen. So him, his force, the shall not still stand. Amen. At no time God ever uh, 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 abandoned the thou shall not. Amen. Yet the church is constantly failing. Yes, sir. And ignoring, thou shalt not. Amen. Thou shalt not have no other God before me. Amen. Your house can become a God. Amen. Your car can become a God. Amen. Your kids can become God. Amen. And while he was gone, that rebellious people. Began to complain. They complained about Moses from the time when he saw the Egyptian. Yeah. Jumped on his brother. He killed him. He hit him in the sand. They start, they start fighting him from that point. You know, people, people don't want leaders to make mistakes. But they make so many. I'm telling you, it's Well, leaders are only human. Have you ever thought I wasn't human, baby? Have you ever thought I wasn't human? Thank you. I didn't think you would. So the same thing that tempt you, it tempts me. But thank God because God has given me more power as a man that got over that. And they were, they were just so unhappy with him because of that one incident. 
they couldn't see of him ever being nothing for the Lord. Even though God had raised him up to lead them. I was raised to lead this bunch. Ain't no way in the world I stopped off in a place like Chandler. But all the, the, the stuff I had in me of being a big shot and whatever. But from day one, I touched this ground. April, or Easter Sunday in this town in 65. Went back home and they asked me back for the summer revival. And I come back for summer revival and I have never left. For 28 years, the Lord has been moving in every service. Every service, whatever it is. I've had this thought for a long time and I thought tonight it'd be a good night to talk about it because it's been pressing me so hard. Yes. Is the fact that leaders have too hard a time sometimes to lead people. Yes. Oh yes, make, just make it impossible for them to lead you because you've got so many funny ideas, so many contrarians. Just make it hard for leaders to lead you. Even when they give you the very best they got, they'll just, you know, just warn, warn with themselves, just warn. God looked down from heaven. Let's get Moses out of the picture for the moment. There had never been a man or woman that God raised up that God wasn't with him. He said to Moses, I'll be with you. I'll be with you. Don't care what Pharaoh, nobody say, I'll be with you. And if he's with you, you don't need nobody else. You can forget about other folks a little sometime yourself. A little sometime for you. Other time they ain't for you. Somebody talk about them or to you, about you to them. They drop their faith. Well, what's wrong with your faith? You don't know nothing. You don't know anything but what you know. Well, why are you shaking? Amen. The Lord looked down from heaven to see how they do. And he found that bunch that had already been praising God. Amen. Worshiping an idol God. Amen. Did not want a man that want a man that had the power of God and anointing upon him. Well, the Lord said, oh, before that time, God was their leader. He himself was their leader. And they didn't even want God. Some people in this house, they don't want God. If you wanted God, you'd want what I tell you. What God? You don't want God. You want something that's going to please you and it's going to make you feel good. Well, the devil can't feel good with the word of God. He can't do that. That's too much to expect the devil feel good. He hates the gospel. I'm not about how you, but a child of God, if you ain't even up to it, he thank God for it. If you ain't got no joy, he likes the news that you can have joy. That just goes good to him. You know I can't have joy. I don't have it today, but Papa told me I could get you. My God. Praise the Lord. Hold up Woo. Thank you. Hallelujah. I feel that joy. I hit that spring. My God. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And so we looked and saw them turning from him. You think sometimes you're doing something to me, you're doing it to God. That's what makes me know you're messing up. I was said by it. No, 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 no people set me up. I was set up by God. And here is those people down on their faces. Had taken all of their juries and given to that part-time preacher. He wasn't no full-time preacher. If he had been a full-time man of God, he'd know better than do that. Most leaders now are not full-time people. They're only full-time in the office until the service gets pretty high and come out, out of the office. In the church. Don't ever get in prayer service. Don't ever pray to people. 